Evening folks, Danielle here from Naturally at the Wren's Nest. Just popping, up, popping on really quickly this evening because I was just in the middle of doing something and I thought, you know what, there's a lot of people that follow me on my page that I think will be really interested in this. So what I'm at this evening is I am spraying my roses for green fly. I don't know if anybody else has noticed but the green fly and the bugs in general are, they seem to be rampant very early. Um, in the season this year um, things that have never been touched before by bugs seem to be being eaten by bugs so I don't use any chemical sprays in my garden it's really important to me um, yesterday was world bee day and one of the biggest killers of our bees at the moment is chemicals and pesticides on our flowers and on the on the plants that the bees are eating so it's really important to me to have my garden as healthy as possible um, and also because I'm using the flowers for my garden, so I'm using my calendula, my chamomile, my lavender, so I don't want to be spraying chemicals on them. Um, so I make my own sprays. So today I'm using a spray that I made myself for green fly. This is it, in a bottle that I've had for probably as long as I'm in my house. Um, and it's a garlic spray. So what you do is you get yourself a spray bottle. Anyone will do three or four big fat cloves of garlic into the bottle. Fill it up with water, little squeeze of washing up liquid, just a tiny drop and give it a good shake. That is a bug spray. It's really, really effective against green fly. Um, I'm just going to flick around the camera for a minute and show you what I'm talking about. Um, just so you can see. So, for example, uh, let me have a look here. See, these are new leaves on my roses. So you'll see the, the new leaves on roses tend to be, you know, very soft um, the bu the little buds are inside there but that's the bit that the green fly loves so you'll find loads and loads of green fly look they're even on the leaves loads of green fly in around these little look right in here I hope you can see it right in here around the bud there's tons of green fly on there they love these new shoots you won't generally find them on the more established um, parts of the plant but on this new growth you will always find them and as I said they're rampant at the moment Look, even just look on the leaves here. You see those awful things. But anyway, I suppose they all have a purpose, but I don't want them on my roses because what happens is if they get at those new buds that are coming up, they'll eat the bud entirely and you'll have no flowers. So we don't want that. So literally what you're doing is you are spraying, spraying, spraying until the spray is literally dripping. Hold on now, this is just a bit stiff. You get it going. You're spraying until it's literally dripping off the plant. See like that? Can you see that? It's a bit bright. But you're spraying the plant until the, the spray is dripping off it. Um, and what you want is to get it well and truly soaked. What you don't want to do is spray an open bud like that. Because if you spray that, it's going to damage the flower that's coming out. It's okay to, sp to spray these little smaller ones that are only starting to form. And even that one, because you can't see the flower yet. But where you can see the flower, don't spray that. Um, oh, hey, Siobhan, how are you? Just in my own garden here and was trying to remember what your natural mixture was. There you go. Write it down. Very simple, Siobhan. A couple of cloves of garlic bottle of water, squeeze of of um, washing up liquid. Now, you can take out the garlic after maybe three or four days, but what I tend to do is I just leave it in the bottle and I keep topping up the bottle. I like it to be really, really potent. And do it in the evening time like this when the sun is starting to go down. Do, don't do it in the midday sun. Um, and, and it's more effective that way. I would often do it in the morning time as well. But spray the bejapers out of it until as I said the plant is literally dri dripping you can use that on things like also over here at the moment let me just swing around this I've also noticed on my blackcurrant plant that they're let me see if I can find I sprayed this last night they're they like to go into the back of the leaves here do you see the way you'll see this discoloration on the leaves that's usually because of bugs in at the back see there's lots of white fly there um, and they cause damage to the leaves, which in turn will affect the fruit on your tree. So spray the bejapers out of it. Um, but that's it. I'm only jumping on quickly to tell you that. So that's your garlic spray that will get rid of your green fly. It also works really effectively on white fly as well. Um, and you can keep the same spray and just keep topping it up all, all summer long. Okay, that's it folks. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.